A wise man once told me, if you don't like the weather in the desert, just wait a half hour. Our recent road trip to Bryce Canyon National Park started out under beautiful blue skies. As we climbed in elevation though, Mother Nature's mood began to change. Seems something darker was brewing under her sunny disposition. But the reality of traveling to 8,000 plus feet elevation is you can never predict the weather. Best to prepare for extremes and pack accordingly. We decided to start our weekend with a short hike out to two popular Bryce Canyon overlooks, knowing we could hightail it back to the truck if the heavens opened up again. According to the National Park website, Sunrise Point is the northernmost of the four major viewpoints that overlook the iconic Bryce Amphitheater. The view of the rock formations within the amphitheater are exceptional. Here you can clearly see the full process of hoodoo formation, as the plateau rim erodes back, exposing walls or fins of layered rock, which are then broken by frost wedging with windows that expand to eventually form the isolated columns of stone known as hoodoos. After checking out Sunrise and Sunset Points, we headed to Ruby's Inn Campground, which would be our home away from home for the next two nights. It didn't take long to get camp set up, so we headed over to Ruby's Inn to grab some dinner and get fortified for the next day's adventures. On the menu, a 25-mile bike ride exploring the vast network of Forest Service roads crisscrossing the National Park and surrounding areas. What do you think so far? I love it. It's awesome. My goodness. Mile after mile of just beauty, peacefulness, tranquil. Man, I don't know if it's uh, this green because of the rain that we've had, you know, two weeks ago and the weeks preceding that, but it's green and <laughs> this road condition is being maintained somehow, some way. Rocks are quite round. Oh, look at that. Make something out of that. Yay, three! three. <laughs> Triumph. <laughs> Whoa. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, taking a quick break here. We are about, probably about halfway through this ride. Uh, it's 25 miles total. Uh, about 2,000 feet of elevation gain, so nothing crazy i think i feel it feels like we've generally been descending so far very gradually at some point i know we're gonna we're gonna kick things up a little bit but um it's been stunningly beautiful as as hoped uh this is the fremont atv trail that we're on so far you could uh drive a pretty wide atv on it however that may change as we start to climb time will tell and then over here is I think it's Kings Creek, and this one uh, is, you know, below the reservoir that we just saw, the Tropic Reservoir, so. Heading back towards Bryce. And we made it. The next morning we arose early and headed out to catch the sunrise at Bryce Point. Powerful chilly winds cut through us, but we stood our ground, knowing we'd be rewarded for our perseverance. Ward Roylance describes the hoodoos of Bryce better than I ever could. Predominant forms in Bryce are pinnacles, spires, and temples. The first adjectives that come to mind are possibly grotesque, bizarre, and beautiful. Bryce can be regarded as the workshops of ancient sculptors of gigantic size and ambition who were defeated by the splendor of their craftsmanship and left it unfinished. After a brief rest and lunch at our campsite, we felt ambitious enough to head back to Sunrise Point for a short hike. Having seen the hoodoos from above the day before, we knew we wanted a different perspective. The Navajo Loop Trail fit the bill perfectly, winding down, in, and around the incredible rock formations. 
The Paiute Indians say that Bryce was built as a city for the people of Coyote, the birds, animals, lizards, and those that look like humankind. The Coyote people displeased Coyote because they worked too long beautifying their city. Coyote was angry and he turned over the paint they were using and he turned all the people to stone. They are still standing there, stone rows of them. say this is steep but this is steep yeah. yeah using this getting this footage is an excuse to take rest yeah I'm gonna name this the Lombard Street of Bryce Canyon there she goes up up what did you think of that Oh, there's magic here in Bryce. That's what I think. Uh -huh. uh, for a dozen years, I've been shortchanging this place and packed full of magic, beauty, tranquility, <laughs> hard rides, hard hikes. <laughs> yeah, hard rides and hard hikes. But uh, you, worth it. You totally have to. You it. have to go down into yes. the canyon yeah. to really appreciate it you just do that's just because if you only go to the lookouts you're skimming the surface right you're looking down which is beautiful as you as you probably saw already this morning from our sunrise shots but yeah get down in there yeah i think we're gonna get caught in the rain that's gonna be our next thing <laughs> let's find our bikes yeah. <laughs>